Hey guys, welcome to Skill Curve. Today we will be doing some really crazy stuff. You must have heard of VFX. If not, well it is basically what is happening behind all the animated movies that you watch. And getting those results require hell lot of work to be honest. However, with the help of AI, things are gonna take turns soon I believe. And that is what we are actually going to explore today. We will be using a newly launched tool called Wiggle AI. Using that, we will be able to make any character move as we want it to. And all we have to do is just give it a source video to copy the motions from. You will find this tool very amusing because the results it generates are surprisingly accurate Plus, it is completely free. This actually works in Discord and it is really easy to use. So without wasting any more time, let's dive in. To use Wiggle AI, first you need to have a Discord account. Then you just have to visit the Wiggle AI's official website and click on this join beta button right here. Accept invite which will redirect you to their Discord server. Once here, you will see all these different channels. In order to get yourself started, click on this. In here, you will find all the information and guidelines that you might need in order to use this tool. It actually comes with 5 main features. Mix, Animate, Ideate, Character and Stylize. Now among these, the Mix and Animate are the ones which are quite popular since they generate motion videos which are pretty accurate, giving this app an edge over the rest of the tool. However, we will go through each of them one by one instead of just these two. The mix command mixes a character image into a motion video. So what you have to do is upload an image with a clear character and upload a video featuring clear motion. Then the mix command will apply the motion from this video on the character from this image. So let's try it out. First, you need to go to one of the animate channels right here. Then type forward slash and all the commands will be visible to you. Select mix. You'll have these four parameters to select. First, we have the character image, then the motion video, then background and fine tune. I'll select Levi as my character from Attack on Titans and drop it here. Then I'll select this cool dance video as my motion video and drop it here. Then for background, we have two options, white and green. We will go with green so that we can remove or change the background later. Then we have fine tune option. Setting it on will take some time, but it will give us better results. So let's go with that. Our video is ready. Let's download it and compare it with our motion video. <laughs> Wow, this was something really crazy to be honest. And it must have reminded you of those viral Fortnite dance moves. Well, you can recreate that as well with any of your character. You can visit this Fortnite website. Here you will find all the moves from Fortnite which you can use as your motion video. Let's check one of them. Now I'll try mix feature again with one of real human characters instead of animated ones and use this video as a motion video. So let's do that. Select mix again. This time I will select this football player Ibrahimovic and drop it here. And I'll use this video as my motion video and drop it here. This time I'll choose white background and fine tune on. Our video is ready. Let's download it and compare it with our motion video. Without any doubt, the results are amazing. In order to get best results, you need to make sure you upload high quality images and videos. And if you are going to create a motion video with full body, then also select the image with full body, standing straight and facing towards the camera. Let's move to the second feature now. The animate feature animates a static character with a text motion prompt instead of motion video as we did in Mix. So what you have to do is upload an image with a clear character and describe the motion you want your character to do. Wiggle AI also provides you with a motion template to copy the prompts from. So you can either go with the built-in prompts or use your own prompts. However, it works well with the built-in prompts instead of your own. We will see that in a while. Let's visit the site. In here you will see all these different motions that you can use for your own character. Let's see one of them. All these videos has a certain source video that it has been copied from like this one. And this background right here, we can use it for our videos as well. So let's try it out. I'm gonna copy this from and head back to the animate channel. Type forward slash and select animate. Again we have the four parameters but this time we have motion prompt instead of video. So I will paste my prompt here. I'll use this cyberpunk 
background Ken Reeves as my character and drop him here. Then I'll use the background from template which I just showed you earlier and turn the find you on. It usually takes around 1 to 5 minutes. Our video is ready. I'll just download it and compare it with the motion video that we saw in the prompts template. Yeah, we did see some glitches while he was doing those moves with his hand and also his hand being cut off between the video. But still, it does a pretty good job with copying the motions. Now let's try the animate feature with one of our own prompts. As I mentioned earlier, it does a pretty good job with built-in prompts but it actually fails to interpret the meaning behind our own prompts. So let's check it out. Select animate again. I'll drop the same image and give it a prompt of do a backflip. Set the background as white and turn on the find you. Let's check it out. <laughs> well, it doesn't look a backflip to me at all. So if you have to use animate feature, I will suggest you only go with built-in prompts. Now let's move to the third feature. The ideate feature creates a character video purely from text. It has a prompt for character image as well as for motion. So what you have to do is describe the character you want to create and describe the motion you want your character to do. Again, you can use the motion template that the Vigal AI provides you with. So let's try it out. I will copy this Bangla dance and head back to the animate channel. I will select the ID at this time, paste the motion prompt here and describe my character as Hitman with mustache. Set the background to green this time if I had to change it later and turn on the fine tune. The results are here. It has generated both an image as well as the motion video. Well, this is not the Hitman I was expecting but still, let's just go with him and check out his motion video. To be honest, the result is awful. However, there is a reason for it. Actually, this video is being generated with the help of this image right here. And this image is lacking the lower body. So the AI is using his own imagination to generate this part of body. Let's try again to resolve this issue. Select ID8 again, paste the same motion prompt and this time I will describe my character as Spider-Man with mustache full body image. Set the background to white and fine tune on. Here are the results. The image seems satisfactory. Let's check the video. Well, this time it was pretty cool. You actually need to use this tool wisely. Let's move to the fourth feature, Character. The Character feature works pretty much similar to ID8. However, it goes step by step instead of generating a motion video directly. First, you need to describe your character through prompt, then select an image from one of the four generated results, and then to create a motion video, you need to describe the motion through motion prompt. Let's try it out. Select character and describe your character. I'll go with a fighting female character wearing gray veil standing straight facing forward full body image. The results are here. Now you can either stop here and download one of these images from these links. Or you can move forward to generate a motion video by selecting one of these images and giving it a motion prompt as we did before. Now let's move to the final feature. Through Stylize, you can restyle your character with a text prompt. So what you have to do is upload an image with a clear character and describe anything that you want to change about it. It will generate 4 results and you can download any. However, if you want to generate a motion video as well, then you can select one from these results and give it a certain motion prompt. So let's try it out. Select Stylize. I would like to restyle this image. So I will drop it here. I would like this character to be changed into full body image, long hair, close like Prince of Persia, standing still, smiling and face as an image. It has done a pretty good job and it is exactly what I needed. Now you can either download one of these and move forward if you want to generate a motion video. Let's summarize all the features. We have mix, animate and ideate to generate a motion video while character and stylize to generate images. 
The mix command takes in character image and a motion video to generate a video. The animate takes in character image plus a motion prompt, while the IDA takes in prompts for both character as well as motion. Then to generate images, we have the corrector command which only takes in corrector prompt, while stylized takes in reference image in addition to corrector prompt. Now you might be wondering, it's nowhere close to what we see in animated movies. Well, we aren't done yet. We are actually gonna take a source video and replace the person in it with one of our own characters, retaining the background. We will achieve this in 5 simple steps. Step 1 is to select a source video. Then you'll have to create a corrector using one of the tools called Lensco. Then you'll have to capture the motion of this video using this corrector. For that, we will use the mix command which we just learned about. Then we will have to remove the subject from the source video in order to get the background. For that, we will use a tool called RunwayML. Then we will combine the videos generated from step 3 and step 4. For that, we will use an editor called CapCut. Let's go through each of them. I will target this video and replace this person with one of my characters. To create a character, first take a screenshot from your video where your character is fully visible. Then go to your browser and search for Lensco. Click on this link right here, select create images, upload the screenshot here and here you can describe your character. The Lensco will take this image as a reference and then use your description to generate the image. So I will type blue monster. Our character has been generated. We can use any of these two images. I also created these two characters using the same screenshot but with the description of yellow monster. So instead of these. I'll just go with this picture instead since I find it more interesting. So I'll download this image and my character is ready. Let's go to step 3. To capture the motion, head back to Wiggle AI and select the mix command. Then drop the character image here and the source video here. Set the background to green since we will remove that later and turn on the fine tune to get better results. Let's download our video. The motion has been captured. Now it's time to place this video over the source video. But before that, we will remove the subject from the source video so that we don't get any of his body part in our final video. To remove subject, go to your browser and type runwayml. Click on this link right here, then log in, click on edit videos, then select in painting. Upload the source video here. Once uploaded, drop it here to get started. Select the include mode and adjust the brush size as per your need. Then highlight the whole subject that you want to remove from your video. Let's check the result. The subject has been removed. Let's export the video. Now go to exports to download it. Open this file. Select this icon. Now we can use this video as a background for our character video. Let's move to our final step. To combine videos, you can use any video editor like Filmora or CapCut. However, I will show you how to do it with CapCut. So let's type CapCut here, click on this first link, select new video, drop the video which we just created using Runway ML. Then drop the character video which we created in step 3. Make sure that the green background video is at the top layer. Then go to Smart 2, select Chroma key, pick the background color. Then you can set the intensity where you find better results. The 40s actually seems fine for me, so I will just leave it as it is. Now I will download it and compare it with the original video. So let's click on export and click here to download. You can adjust the resolution and other parameters. I will go with the highest quality and the highest frames per second. Select the format as MOV and export it. Click on download. Let's do the comparison. Well, this is something really crazy. Now we have achieved something and you are able to create animated scenes like this one. I will show you other videos as well which I have created similarly. I will also show you one more. What we did today was something new in the market and I personally loved this tool. I am aware there is huge quality and capability gap between the traditional way of VFX and this one. But this is just a start. Hopefully there will be improvements and we will get even better results in future. So with that I will conclude this video for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you guys for watching.